All right, quick video, just one quick play I wanted to talk about. This is one that got some attention, but I wanted to make sure it gets the attention it deserves. So, set the stage. The Eagles have one timeout left. There's a minute and 48 seconds left, and it is a tie football game. To be honest, I don't know why the Chiefs aren't just taking a knee right now, but they decide they are going to run a play and give the ball to Jarek McKinnon. As you see, McKinnon gets the ball, and the Eagles not exactly trying too hard to make a tackle. They are going to try and let McKinnon score if they can. If he will take the touchdown, they will uh, allow him to, because obviously that means that you have a chance to get a drive of your own going. They could have still a minute 40 left and a timeout. But what's also interesting about this is it's not just getting a touchdown. Obviously, that would, you know, certainly help the Eagles, but if he goes out of bounds, that still would help the Eagles a lot. Give him an extra timeout would then mean that they have a chance with a little bit of time to try and get a field goal. I know this stuff seems obvious, but let's be honest, we've seen people screw this up before. We all remember Todd Gurley, uh, who accidentally scored a touchdown, then ended up losing the game for the Falcons, also in a Super Bowl before, when the Giants beat the uh, Patriots the second time, the game-winning touchdown ended up being an accidental touchdown. I mean, it happens where you can uh, screw this up. McKenna Doe plays it perfectly, slides right there at the two-yard line, perfectly where he uh, wanted to be, keeps himself in bounds, which keeps the clock rolling. They call a timeout, but, you know, this is what allowed them to be able to run down the clock. They, they need it from there. They didn't take any chances after that, uh, and they won the football game.